Hey you guys, it's Lily, the crazy card maker, and I said I was going to do a Halloween card as well, so here I am to show you guys how I made this little card. Whoops, there we go. Sorry. Um, this is also for um, Sketchy Wednesday on Kinder Sambo. So if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. It's really fun. And I used Happy Halloween from the Vintage Halloween set, Kinder Sambo. And these stamps are Panduro. It's actually the only um, figure Halloween sets I have. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I had to use what I had. But yeah, uh, and I'm so glad I have the uh, um, vintage Halloween because I simply love Halloween and I wish I would find more stamps and stuff, stamps and papers for Halloween. But yeah. Okay, now let's get to it. Um, let's see here. First off, this is a piece of uh, four and one eight by five and a half scored and then I ran the corners and this part is five and a quarter by three and seven eighths um, yeah just gonna add this one on here real quick because I'm not gonna do any fuzzy stuff or this anything it's just a black piece going on top of this one so, oops There we go. And yeah, I'm not too careful. <laughs> okay. um, then I have this piece. Oh, let's see. Sorry. It is two and three quarters by three and a quarter. And I used this um, like scallop. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a scallop corner punch on this. This one is two and a half by three. Also use the um, scallop on this as you can see. And this one is for my sentiment and this is the ribbon I'm going to be using. And the ribbon is it's not long, it's four inches, a little bit over that. So let's get started. And hit that one. Okay. Oh, sorry. I actually put away my stem set. Okay, now let's see. Take the spider web first. I'm sorry. And I actually used my black suit distress ink for the um, spider web. So I'm going to use that now as well. I'm going to try to stay on camera this time. I does not want to follow. So yeah, just gonna quickly do this again.
Oh, and I'm moving everything, ain't I? I'm so not used to having the craft mat on me. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really, really sorry, guys. Yeah. But yeah, I'm trying to work with it. Okay. My spider right there. Move the position of the spider a little bit this time because I could tell it might be a bit troublesome. Oh my god, I'm just messing up big time today. <laughs> yeah. And there we go, finally. I did it. Okay, putting away. Okay. Being pregnant is fun, but lately I am dropping everything. Seriously, I'm dropping everything. My food, my craft stuff, scissors, everything. So, yeah. But, and I'm normally not slippery handed at all. But, yeah. I am now. Okay, I'm actually going to stab the uh, Halloween one. As well, before I put this one away, look at my ink pad. Oh my god, oh well. And there. Like that. And I'm done with that. Okay. Now let's see. I have to get my pro markers and see if I can find the ones I need. I need this one, this one, and where's my number? This one. There. That one. And I'm just using um, standard. <laughs> I don't know what you guys call these, but it's a permanent marker. It's not a pro marker or anything because I'm colouring in her hat. And I'm really sorry, my hair and everything is in cam. I'm trying not to be. The only thing that I noticed with this um, permanent marker um, is that the distressing shines through with a different colour. But I can't be too bothered because I don't have anything else. Okay, I'm going to do the broomstick first with my amber colour. Like that. No blending, no nothing. Just Easy easy. Because this paper is not really good for colouring on. But I didn't want to use any other papers because this worked better with my project. So yeah. Okay, and since it's not blending in this one, I'm just going to run lines on one side, like that. There, done with the colouring. Now all I have to do is try to get the white in their eyes. Hopefully my marker will get my Actually, while it works, it's a bit hard. I've been struggling with my channel lately. But yeah. Oh, 
like that. And yet, you guys better promise me to show you loads of pictures from Halloween. Halloween decorations, everything, because there's nothing over here. And it's so, so sad. I love Halloween. I wish we would celebrate it, but there's not many that does. And one day, when I'm filthy rich, I'm going to go to the States for Halloween. Just to see your decorations and the kids and having fun and yeah, because you don't get to see that here. So yeah, promise me you're showing me loads of nice, nice pictures from Halloween. Kids out in the streets, trick or treating, decorated houses, everything. Just show me Facebook or. Do video response to my videos with picture gathered, whatever. I just want to see. I love Halloween. Okay, I'm gonna use my spice marmalade um, to ink up the edges for this one. And happy Halloween! Yeah. There we go. This is a quick card. And not one of the best because I've seen what you guys can do with the stamps and stuff you get over there but I'm using what I can <laughs> what I have what I can get my hands on and actually where I live now you can't even get any Halloween paper you can't get any Halloween stamps these stamps we bought um, when we lived back in the city so yeah it's really really sad for me I'm in love with Halloween and I can't get any. You can get candy or some candy. Not all shops even bother with the candy. Um, but there's one like cheap shop that does. And we bought some from there. Um, for some treat bags. You're going to see the treat bags as well. Because these two things tie together. So yeah. There. Now I'm just going to lay this on here, try to get it as centred as I can. Take this like that and just place this over this one, like this. Okay, and now you can see this one's loose, so what I'm going to do a little bit of tape underneath and just stick it out because I don't want it to be loose, I want it to stick it out. Going back, I'm actually going to use my um, glaze jelly roller and I'm just going to add some stitching around the edges of the black because if not, it's not going to pop out on the black background. And my stitching is not perfect, it's not nothing, but that's what crafting is all about being creative. It doesn't have to be perfect to be pretty. And that goes out to all people struggling. It doesn't have to be perfect to be pretty. I need to start saying that to myself as well. <laughs> okay, almost done. There. Now I'm going to have to let that dry a little bit because this um, glaze one it is wet so the colour doesn't show up before it's dry as you might see inside here you can see some is showing up some is not so it's drying slowly but as it dries the white colour comes through and it's a bit shinier than just the jelly roller Okay, and this actually took a really long time. This one, that didn't help. Okay, just gonna leave it because last thing I'm gonna do is to put this one on the front, and then I have a pretty little card to use. 
guys really don't celebrate Halloween. I don't know who for, but yeah. There we go. Now I can turn it around. It's my glue gun. Yeah, I love my glue gun. Fine tape over here is uh, adhesive in general. It's extremely expensive, but this is cheap. So yeah. There we go. Just gonna adhere this. Right there. Now I'm all done. By that quick and easy guard. And I made a bunch of them. Yeah. Okay. That's it for me for now. So I'll talk to you guys later. And I'm gonna be making more videos. I'm gonna do a mini album. Uh, with some Halloween papers that I got from Janet and some that I got from um, Jess in the design team package um, I got some pretty pretty papers there I'm going to show you guys some of it ok, just going to put this side um, let's see look at this look at that <laughs> so cool and that's the other side so so pretty and oh, hang on yeah, that one and the other side so stinky cool I'm, I love Halloween I totally love Halloween and look at these spider webs oh my god so cool and the other side also extremely cool with the borders and everything and she sent me two pieces of each which is perfect because I can actually use one as this and one as that so that's amazingly cool but yeah, I'm going to do a mini album and I'll show you guys that one later on. And I have a big box. I'm going to show you guys how I made as well later on. So that's it. I'm not going to ramble anymore, I think. So bye. See you soon.